As I reported late last year, we had physicist at the LHC, the machine at CERN, that had stated they had detected something, this small bump in data, with an energy level of about 750 GeV. Now this level is about six times larger than the energy associated with the Higgs particle. And this is important because if it turns out to be more than just pretty much nothing, just kind of like uh, static data, if it turns out to actually be something, they're saying that this could prove to be the existence of a new particle. Now, it takes a lot of time, and it's taken up to this point since the end of last year for them to go through all this data, all these physicists and scientists to write all these papers up, for them to come together with all these different theories to rule out all the BS and break it down to the top handful of things that it could likely be. Now, when it comes down to being a new particle, they're saying the odds right now are shifting around, and they give some numbers here of 1 in 20, and it needs to be like 1 in 3.5 million for them to come out and confirm and say, hey, this is a new particle. But they're saying as new data is coming in, they're continuing to build on what they believe that this is. Now, one paper is suggesting the existence of a new force of nature. So a fifth force that acts like the strong force that glues atomic nuclei together. The strong force also glues quarks into protons and quarks and anti-quarks into pions. Now, as it states here, it's probably getting a little weird for some people, but anti-quarks are just like quarks, but they carry the opposite electric charge. The idea is that these two quark-like particles are glued into something like a new pion or like a heavy Higgs particle into a bigger structure. Eventually, it decays and then it releases the two protons that were there to begin with, but at less of a mass. And that's one of the ideas. Another here says a new Higgs-like particle that couples to new kinds of particles. And then they go on here with other examples on what this could be. But I want to let it be known, the data they're getting in and what they're saying at this point is that this could potentially be another particle. I think regardless, they're hinting at something else here being discovered. And this is usually how it happens. It takes time for it to work its way out. But if they're talking about another force of nature, I talked about this in the last video because they literally said they were wanting to puncture a hole in space-time. And they were hinting at just this, another force of nature. This is the second time they've hinted at it. So to have this fifth force in nature that no one knew about, that they could prove is real and there, well, it would go to show that there's a lot more in existence than what people have been able to wrap their head around thus far. And you could also go into the dimension talk there because it's exactly what they were talking about in that last piece as well, the dimensions. So, interesting info coming out of this. We'll see where it goes. They say still here by fall of this year, so we still have quite a few months ahead of us, that they should... Um, have a lot more data together to give us some kind of bigger announcement. But here and there, new data popping out, and I think at some point there's going to be a huge announcement made by them. They're going to, because to me, they're working to open up that wormhole, to rip that hole in space time, to be able to travel to and from or bring something from somewhere else here into. Not just this reality, but this dimension. And when you know the secrets of the cube, of all the fundamentals, of everything that they're using here with the numbers, the Fibonacci, 
everything based on the language of number and what the cube inside of a cube really is. It's a pyramid, a pyramid, a pyramid, and a pyramid. Four of them all turned in on one of another without the, without the capstone. And what you have on the inside is a tiny little cube. Therefore, this thing can rotate within itself. As above, so below. Any wonder why they say it? All this hidden in the sciences. Nonetheless, that's some of the latest. I'll leave a link in the description box. It's been Dabu 7. Eyes open.